Georgia Fire Department responding to two separate fires Friday night at the same address on Sandy Birch Road. Um, we were called to the report of a boat on fire, um, arrived on scene to find the same. Um, homeowner had, or landowner, um, had partially had it already out for us um, using his own equipment. Um, we basically came in, finished putting it out, um, did an assessment to make sure everything was safe um, around the scene. About 20 minutes after the firefighters left the scene, another call came in, this time for a shed on fire. So a little uh, uh, around 9 o'clock, I was notified by the fire chief that there was a, a boat that had caught on fire, a boat on a trailer that had been parked on the property at this residence. And he called me a little after 10 o'clock, probably quarter after 10 this evening, and said that, you know, pretty much the same thing, that we'd just do some follow-up during uh, next week. And then 10 minutes later, my phone rang, and he said that he was headed back out. This was the fifth fire Vermont State Police have been called to at the property to investigate. This particular property, I believe in the last 18 months, we've had four or five fires here that have been uh, a boat, a car, there was a shed, uh, this other shed, uh, that other boat uh, tonight. So two fires tonight and three in the last, I think, 18. So a total of five. State police are considering all the fires suspicious and believe they are connected. For someone to have one fire in their life, that's traumatic enough and uh, significant, but once people have two or three, this is really uh, a big deal and then uh, you get a pattern and it's just, it's a lot.